Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you wish to be in between. Welcome back. It's Commander Shepard, who is... Is she like cross-eyed? No? Okay. Uh, welcome back to Commander Shepard on the Citadel today. Last time we... got here, after escaping Earth and then escaping fucking Mars, where we found the big super weapon all of a sudden. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Um... Uh, let's just go to the hospital first. Let's check on Kaden. Let's check on Kaden. Let's be a nice friend. Let's check on Kaden. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Maybe I could be transferred to another no. hospital then. Some place unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? Uh, no. Humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them. No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh, can we buy anything here? Welcome to Serta. Oh, we can. We can... Oh, we can get both. We can get both. There we go. I think the whiskey is for Caden. Obviously, the meta gel capacity is for me. My microphone is picking up literally everything these days. Patient stable for now. Okay, nice. Are we picking up any? No, there's no, there's no quests here yet. Oh yeah, this. This guy's got his leg cut off. Apparently. Okay, nothing in there. Caden, how's it going? Oh wait, no, we don't have to talk to Caden because he's still in a, he's still in a coma. Oh, nice. Don't have to talk to him. Fucking brilliant. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Uh, it'd be nice to him. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc? Let me know. Come on, Caden. And that's an order. And that's an order. Okay. Well, wasn't that lovely? Um. Again, the uh, the the dialogue audio in this game is just so low. It I did I do have it set it to. Let me just double check. Yeah. Max audio, and everyone's like, "Hey, how's it going? Yeah, these are really stressful times. Can we uh, can we talk about it, please? Can we?" Have a chat. One moment, please. Fucking hell, dude. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Okay, so nothing is giving me any... Any... Oh, 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 oh. Primacy that the whole protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. There we go. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyss. There we go. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping... It's, uh, that, that, well, well, we're gonna have a lot in this game where we just walk by people and all of a sudden it's like, boop, journal update. What? 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 Eh? What? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I was eavesdropping on you and, uh, oh, yeah, I found that exact thing you were looking for. Good, huh? That's great, huh? There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Hey, you want to get punched again? Commander Shepard? 
Commander, humanity has questions. And I have a closed door. Damn press. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Counselor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. All right, don't be so pessimistic. Come on. I'm the protagonist. We got this. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Uh, what about your family? You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. Oh. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, um, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. It will. Come on. In about 30 or so hours, I think it's going to get a lot better. Oh, yeah, this is quite cool. These are the Spectre offices uh, where you can buy some really extortionately expensive guns. Welcome. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information, access, and support for authorization of covert actions. Actions? Sure. Uh, and this is just telling us that the Quarian fleet is... Well, they're doing something. Uh, they're doing something. We're not quite sure what yet, but they're doing something. And here is where you can get your uber, uber, uber weapons. Who are a bit a bit expensive for right now, but well, hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully. All right. What do you want, Udina? What do you want, Udina? Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Oh, great! Thank you. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. 
If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Uh, Even if yeah. we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. I don't know. Think a of scale. it as like a, a MacGuffin. It would be a colossal right? undertaking. Just, uh, just think no. of it like a MacGuffin. We forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. Great. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And Udina's right. We need to stand together now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Yeah, thanks. It just means we're gonna have to do favors for all of them before they give me their a stuff. Bunch of nice. Nice. Shepherd. We may have a spot in the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander. I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way, but the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. So, yeah. If you do me all these favors, then maybe we'll give you some ships. That's bas that's basically the crux of the game. Also, he's been transported to the largest moon on Palavin. Uh, that, it just means that they didn't have time to make Palavin. There was a bit of a time crunch in developing this game. Which, uh, yeah. I mean, just give me Palavin, man. Also, I fucked around with the sensitivity of the microphone. So I might have to... Maybe that's better. I think that's a bit better. I think so. I'm not sure. Commander Ooh. Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Wanna get a punch in the face again? Bitch. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? 
Nope. How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? Don't do it. Don't do it, Jeff. I came to get Don't help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. According to the Council, mm. these galaxy wide attacks are part of a massive and organized. Wait, we actually get her as a war asset? Oh. What's up, Vega? What you doing hey, out here? Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. The council called the invaders Yeah, we're just, you know, trying to save the galaxy, but I I'm sure I can... I'm sure we can find some free time, right? Because... You know, holidays and days off. That's exactly what we're needing right now. Okay. Okay. There's no one here yet. Nope, 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 nope. We can talk to Avina, but fuck her. Welcome to Docking Bay D24. Fuck that. We're going to Palavin, baby. Oh, we get the dreams. Oh, nay. Oh, uh, I hate the. I don't know why they put these in. Oh, it's to show Shepard's mental deterioration, the toll of war on her f uh, mental well-being. Shut the fuck up. They're annoying. And then they don't add anything to the story anyway. You know, the hushed voices, oily shadows, all of that stuff. It don't matter. Because we're not indoctrinated. Even though we spent a considerable amount of time near a reaper and we actually got touched by a reaper artifact and all that stuff. But it doesn't matter. We're not indoctrinated. They're not trying to indoctrinate us either. Where are you going, kid? Nowhere? Cool. Honestly, this mic is picking up the stupidest sounds. God damn. Kid. Kid, where you going? Kid, it. Come back here. I'll save you. I'll save everyone. You can't save me. Welcome to hell. Barbecue? Oh, 
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Okay. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. But why would you have a picture of Liara's room, right? She's the fucking shadow broker, really? She's not going to let anyone take pictures in there. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out.
All right. All right. Well, I think uh, today's episode... I, I, I gotta go soon, actually. Um, I think today's episode will just look at this. You know, this is the... Well, the war room. Here you can see all of your... Oh, we did get it. Oh, I didn't look at this. Oh, yeah. We have all of the resources. We have a fully upgraded uh, Normandy. We have Diana. The fifth fleet. Lost a lot of battles in the Battle of the Citadel. Again, the third fleet, same. First fleet as well. What are the Marines? Huh. And here, well, some, some characters will pop in. As the story goes on, different characters will be in here. I'm pretty sure there's also a little... No? 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 Oh. I thought there was a miniature ship in here, but I guess I'm wrong. Shows how much I've played this game. Well, there's definitely... Oh, there's, there's one. The shuttle! Yay! Alright, let's just go check out the ship for today. I mean, it's a bit of a filler episode, but, you know... I mean, that's true, huh? Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. On Sanctum? Eden Prime. Cerberus attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too, too thin. Ooh, they uncovered a major Prothean artifact. I wonder who... I mean, what? I didn't say who. Um, I welcome back Gift. Ah, uh, oh, this is like all the DLC stuff. There's more news about the Quarian fleet getting ready for getting ready for war. Here we have DLC Dog. It doesn't really matter. And this is... I mean, just pause it if you want to read it. Reinstatement. We are officially reinstated. That's nice. And this is... Uh, the Special Ops is um, multiplayer. I never got into the multiplayer too much. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just yeah. wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. Yeah, fuck that. In any event, For a toothbrush? I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I've never spent more than a fiver on a toothbrush, Carry I don't on, think. Specialist. Well, before we talk to Trainer a bit more, there's Normandy, all beautiful and glorious. Uh, we gotta, we gotta talk to a buddy here. We gotta talk to a buddy here. How's it going, Joker? Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Commander. Oh, that's it? Commander. Oh, shit. I thought there was more. Never mind. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Uh, we got the people down in engineering. We should be Vega and uh, Steve. Is it Steve? No, it's Cortez. Oh, shit. Oh, I think Steve might be his dead husband. Well, not yet dead husband. Oh, uh, yikes. Oh, that's awkward. And there are, uh, I'll probably just get those off screen, uh, the little miniature ships. I'll probably just get them later <clears throat> off screen. Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non committal, unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yep. We're going to rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> well, he's not quite on Paladin. Are you just looking? <sighs> it's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. 
Fair enough. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. Lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn rule. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Oh god, Shepard. Remember the last human man? You you, you gave one compliment. Ah, oh, don't do it, Shepard. Just don't do it. Learn your limitations, right? Just wait for Garrus. I mean, what? Lieutenant Is he coming Steve back? Cortez, I don't know. Shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. 
I'd rather not talk about it. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. There's Cortez. Let's let's just go meet everyone. All right, it's like a it's like an anime filler episode. This one, <laughs> just a little bit. We'll just go and hey, Engineer Adams. I forgot about him. He's back. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me. Asked me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? Your Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Drive Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new Drive Corps is three times bigger. This ship can Fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her peg, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done, but Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right. Well, that's. Oh wait, no, we have. Uh... Oh wait, there's one. If you're gonna play this, you never played this. You gotta do this, okay? You gotta go here. 
and you got there he is. Bam! First try, space hamster. You gotta get your hamster back, boy. You gotta get your hamster, and you might as well pick up the model ships that are just, for some reason, scattered all over the ship. No idea why, but they're just yeah. Well, that's engineering. Um, I mean, Diana Allers isn't there, but we don't have to talk to her right now. We we don't have to talk now. It's it's okay. It's okay. Here's the Wall of Dead. <laughs> you know, cheery. Life support, not much here. Uh, I mean, we've we, we've well, we've seen all these in Mass Effect too, right? I mean, it's not much has changed here apart from Miranda's office. I think, yeah, this this used to be Miranda's office. Here you go. Damn. My family says I've got too many screens in my room. Fuck you now. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Yeah, everyone wants to speak to me today. Let's just use this first. Armor up, armor mod kit. Do we get it shield or ammo capacity? Shield. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is. Non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay, if you want to read these, just pause. I mean, it's it's a fun little tidbit of information, right? It's not bad. It's not great either. <laughs> uh, it gets it gets a bit more fun later on. Wink, wink, Prothean. Wink, wink. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Great. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. Like I said, I have to go. I have to get ready for a job interview. So thank you so much for watching. If you need your have, do check out the links in the description to join uh, to join me on Twitch or join me in the Discord. Apart from that, do check out other videos on the channel that you may or may not enjoy. Thank you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever, whenever you are. And I will see you tomorrow with Empire at War. Bye-bye.